Hello everybody, I'm Mimaside, and welcome to Mimaside LBB. So, basically, I decided that I wanted to make a LEGO Beyblade channel. I was originally part of this really small Beyblade channel called Things BB. It's pretty inter interesting, go check it out. Probably in the description. And it was really small, so I decided I wanted to make my own uh, LEGO Beyblade channel, because why not? Now, um... For those of you who happen to have found my main channel, which is just called Mima Side again, description below, you would probably not know that I like Beyblades, but I also like uh, Lego Base. So this is the first Lego Beyblade for the series. It is called Cyber Exo 7XL. Let's check out the combo. Okay, so first off we have the Exo chip, which it has some green, it has a gray center, and some green here, and some white. It's a pretty basic chip. And as you can see, there are these protrusions outside which perfectly line up with the layer base. Now the layer base is called Cyber and as you can see it has these two large contact points right here and these rounder ones but they have a slope and a stud which could make some interesting contact. And there are also these studs underneath here that hold the disc in place which I chose 7. Now the 7 disc is a fairly good core disc and I think it's pretty decent for attack. And finally we have the driver XL which is a very small flat tip. So yeah, that is the combo Cyber Exo 7 XL. It's a pretty solid attack type and it is the main Beyblade of the channel as you saw from my logo. All right, now let's take a look at Blaze Taurus 10 Massive. This Beyblade is the defense type, the main defense type, I guess, of the series. Let's check out the combo. All right, first we have the chip, which is Taurus. It has some brown, some red, and some yellow. It has a lot of orange like fire colors, I guess, and it has these studs with holes, which I don't really know why I put those there. Next, we have the Blaze layer base, which is basically a perfect circle, but it's one of the lighter layer bases, I believe, um, just because its structure isn't very secure. So I might upgrade it later on. I'm not sure, though. Um, but it's very round, giving it incredible defense and stamina. Next part is the 10 disc, and the 10 disc is one of the best core discs in the game. It's fairly heavy, and it has some pretty good weight distribution. And finally, we have the massive driver, which is just a big ball. There's not that much to say about it, but yeah. The full combo is Blaze Taurus. Again, it's Blaze Taurus 10 massive. It's a pretty decent defense type. Finally, we have the stamina type for the series. This is Storm Hydra. 5 gem and oh my god it looks a lot more vibrant on the camera that's pretty weird but yeah let's check out the combo for this guy okay so first off we have the hydra chip which has a gray um line or i guess a line in the middle it has half orange half blue some pretty interesting color scheme and yeah it's a pretty decent gym it's like in the middle of the spectrum in terms of weight i guess next up we have the storm layer base and it perfectly accommodates this half and half color scheme you can line up the orange with the orange and the blue with the blue and it looks pretty nice and if you do this it looks pretty strange so yeah if you ever build this bay make sure to build it like that and i will say this baby really kind of hurts to grab i'm not sure why Next up, I chose the 5 disc, because apparently it has good stamina, I don't know, that's what the Beyblade Burst app told me. But you know what else has good stamina? This driver, it's called Gem, it's just a gem tip, and I would call it Survive, because it's just a sharp tip with nothing else, but it has a unique texture around it, as you can see. So yeah, it might add some interesting life after death, which is why it's called Gem. So yeah, the full combo is Storm Hydra 5 Gem. Let's do some test battles, I guess. Alright, so we're at the stadium, and before we start the battles, let's talk about the launchers I have first. The first one is purely made out of Legos, with this large ripcord right here that's pretty thick, and then this smaller piece right here, which is of course the main launcher, but it is very powerful. And I got the design from Lego Bays, and this launcher is also from Lego Bays, except I kind of modified it so it would work with my system. So. Yeah, let's get into some test battles. All right, Exo versus Taurus. Let it rip. Let it rip. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Some pieces flew off, but... Oh, oh, the wings got completely ripped off. There's a reason why I have these walls up, so pieces won't start flying off. But anyway, we're going to be doing Exo versus Hydra. Three, two, one. Go two. Three, two, one. Go two. Oh, it's a double burst. 
um, replay that um, to see who versus who. Alright, Taurus versus Hydra. Go. Two. Go. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh my gosh, Hydra got totally obliterated, but it looks like Taurus is still standing. Alright, that's going to wrap it up for today's LEGO Beyblade video of Cyber XO 7 XL, Blaze Taurus 10 Massive, and Storm Hydra 5 Gem. If you'd like to see more uh, LEGO Beyblade videos, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, stuff like that, and I'll see you in the next video.